Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl, Catherine, and today I'm driving around Sharswood. Some of you are probably thinking, where the hell is Sharswood? And you're not wrong for feeling that way. Sharswood has long been a sort of dilapidated neighborhood um, with, you know, a lot of low-income housing and the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority owns I don't know, a good percentage of the properties around here. I'm on Ingersoll Street right next to the Vox High School, which is now behind me. That high school is being repurposed as not only an educational institution, but also, um, you know, a business startup type center, not unlike Bach. You can see on either side of me, there's a ton of vacant land and some of these rundown houses. How did this happen? Well, you know, Philly has a long history of, uh, you know, sort of forced segregation through redlining, which is limiting people to live in certain areas, and then poverty, right? So you have all these neighborhoods in, in Philadelphia that have these old rundown buildings, but there is a resurgence that's coming. So Sharswood location-wise is north of Girard College. It's that big stone wall that some of you might have run into if you're driving up Ridge Avenue, heading towards Maniunk, or coming from Maniunk, going down Ridge Avenue into Francisville, and west, west all the way out to about 26th Street where you hit um, Girard Avenue and Brewery Town proper starts. But this particular neighborhood here is just south of Strawberry Mansion um, and has a ton of opportunity. Small Change, uh, smallchange.org is a fundraising platform uh, where unaccredited investors over the age of 18 can put as little as $500 down and invest in socioeconomic development projects for returns that accredited investors would get. Um, and there's a project that they've actually helped fund with uh, Shift Capital and uh, I think it's Mosaic Development Corporation and somebody else do, are doing a huge project in the neighborhood, but you're already starting to see, like right next to me here, there's a ton of new construction. Uh, I know Phoenix Property Group has done a bunch in the neighborhood as well. And these are all triplexes because there's a ton of properties that are zoned RM1. Now, if you live in Brewerytown or Sharswood and you own a property that's zoned RM1, that means it's a residential multifamily. And if it's currently used as a single family, you have the potential to divide that into three units, maybe even more depending on the size of the property. So before you go ahead and sell it to a wholesaler, shoot me a DM or give me a call and let me know, um, you know what your situation is, and I'll give you some. I'll give you the best advice that I can to leverage yourself into a better position using the property that you already have. Now I'm already at 26th Street right now, which has the rec center that I play with my dog at all the time. This rec center has a pool, it has basketball courts, it has baseball fields, it has soccer nets, there's a ton of club sports that are out here all the time, there's a small playground for kids, um, and then there's an indoor space that I haven't actually had a chance to use because hashtag 2020. So um, if you find yourself in the neighborhood and you stop by the park, you will most likely see me in the morning uh, early before, before the sun comes up half the time. And uh, if you're there in the late afternoon around 435, I'm usually there before I take showings and tours. So I'm going to head back towards uh, Sharswood proper and show you guys around a little bit more. This little pocket south of the rec center is one of my favorite little neighborhoods. All of the houses are generally well kept. There's a couple of sort of boutique single family homes in the area and a ton of renovations that are happening left and right. Um, just here on Thompson Street, you'll find at least four multifamily projects that are up. There's a couple of giant lots here on 26th Street that were on the market previously for something like 2.6 million because you could build I think it was like 32 condos minimum and I think somebody maxed out at like 64 uh, I don't want to call them micro units but obviously smaller units because the property size hasn't changed um, but Sharswood ton of development they're gonna be building a supermarket single-family homes for sale affordable single-family homes for sale below market rate apartments and 
And if you're in the market for a new property and you, you want to live in Philadelphia for you know five, 10 years or more, I think it's a really good investment because the neighborhood's going to continue to push all the way up to Strawberry Mansion because of Fairmount Park and all the movement that's happening on the Ridge Avenue corridor and in Fairmount. So hit me up, give me a call, let me know what you're looking to do, and uh, I'll get you set up.